Hey, hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're gonna talk about named credentials. Um, yeah, so we'll get straight into it. I'll just go straight to setup. And then from here, in the quick find box, you can just type in uh, named credential, and then that's gonna pop this up. Just click on that. So you see, we've got two options here. Salesforce also has a new legacy named credentials, but um, they're gonna get rid of this soon so we're not going to talk about that for now um, yeah so to to create a name credential first thing we'll probably need to do is create an external credential so we'll just go in here an external cred credential is basically like the authentication protocol so I'm just going to name this uh, my external cred and copy that paste that in there then next step would be to select which authentication pr protocol you want to use. So you've got options between OAuth 2.0, AWA Signature, or you can use your custom one. Um, if you wanted to use an OAuth, you need to select um, your authentication flow type. So yeah, if you're not too sure what these are, um, just maybe do some research on this, just to make sure that you use the correct one. Um, for now, what are we going to use is just a custom one, okay? And then click Save. So now that we've got that, the next step that we want to do is create our named credential. So I'm just going to go back here. Then inside of named name credential, I'm going to click new. Then from here, what I'm going to do is just call this my named credential. So yeah, you can pretty much name this whatever you want. I'd recommend naming it something similar to whatever your your hour is going to be. Um, so for the URL, there's actually a good, good example. I think it's something about Chuck Norris API get. Let's see if we can find something here. Yeah, Chuck Norris jokes API. So this is pretty cool. You can, you can uh, just copy this and use this URL for that. And just paste that in there. So this will return Chuck Norris jokes. Um, but yeah, obviously, if, you, <laughs> if you're doing the real thing with an integration, then make sure you put the real URL endpoint in there. So, so basically, what a name credential does is it, you put this in into your code. Um, we'll probably do this in the next video. But this is a way to, to change the URL without actually modifying the code. So once you've created this, you can use this URL endpoint, and then you can actually change it here from inside of setup. So for the external credential, um, we're just going to select that one we created earlier. Um, the cool thing about the external credential is you you just need to create this once, um, depending on what kind of flow type or custom, depends on what you're doing for the authentication. And then you can reuse this um, for multiple name credentials. Um, client certificate, we're just going to leave that blank for now. Um, generate auth authorization header um, so this is optional you can check this if it's pretty cool you can let's actually leave this checked and then I'll show you what that does so you can actually create your headers from from here inside a setup instead of doing it in the code and then yeah we've got a few other things here but I'm not going to worry about that too much for now and then just click Save so just one more thing so as we scroll down now you can see a custom header so you can actually create your headers from from here if you click new which is pretty cool instead of actually doing it in the code uh, yeah if you found this video helpful please subscribe and check out our next video thanks